So if we go back to our properties here, all right, so on the player, there's a little bit of a difference on the player uh, when it comes to the position rotation scale. The, the one that you'll probably notice is different is that scale isn't an X and Y. Um, we've actually kept it to doing a uniform scaling on the player so that the uh, collider box, uh, the, this is going to be a character controller object, so that it stays in uniform, unison to the object that you have inside of here. Now, does that mean you have to stick with it? No, we actually left one option open. Um, here, I'll show you this one. Uh, if you are using your move tool and you go to your properties here, you can actually do it this way and scale and rotate your character in an awkward way. Just remember, this isn't going to give you the best results for a really smooth character controller object, but we did leave it available just in case. And once we get the other things smoothed out, we may wind up opening it back up uh, to the uh, end user so that you can actually use uh, X and Y on it. But for now, though, um, it's mainly set up this way. So that, see if you notice how the box is floating, the actual box is taking on the size of this right here. So it's going to be one of those things you can actually play with it and make it work and you can go back in change your values so that it's a smaller character controller object size and uh, that part would work but it's not something that by default we want to make available just yet so eventually what you'll wind up doing you would wind up taking this one and knowing that it goes down further you would actually take the radius and shrink the radius up so that the height is going to work for it. So something like that should get pretty close. Yeah, so then you're a lot closer this way, but you're a little bit on the overlap that way. But you can have a character who is um, a rectangle instead of squared off inside of that box. Alright, so now just remember the position rotation scale properties. Again, the basics are going to be set up so that if you go to it, it'll stay for the square that it needs to be in but if you don't use this one you can skew it the other way and have a little bit of fun on that side of it and then you can also um, rotation if you want to rotate your character around a different direction you can rotate it this way and then you can offset the uh, the image depending on where you want it to start alright so that's going to be the basics for the position rotation and scale using this option and using the move tool the uh, gizmo option for it.